Hello and welcome back to Breath Edge. And if you wonder why there hasn't been anything really for like a month, it's because I've been sick, uh, which thankfully now is about to disappear. And thankfully hasn't been anything really bad or, or like major it's just it's been one of those spring colds which are really really annoying makes me super tired and mostly tired and a slight fever and nothing you really get super sick from, but saps all energy out of you which has meant that I haven't really been having energy to do anything above the bare minimum requirements in my daily life so but now I'm finally back and in the previous episode which now was Fair time ago I have done what I said I would do and go back to where we started and got more paint and the shawarma which since I wasn't there technically speaking I didn't need to go and get that because I saw when I looked and I watched my my footage from what I had recorded was that there is a shawarma over here so there are two of them it's just the paint it's not possible to get as far as I can tell so I went back to get some paint and uh, I actually brought a bit more than I needed plus a few extra it's and bobs so what we are going to do to begin with is make the helmet covered with paint there we go excellent protection against radiation direct sunlight and prying eyes Lack of visibility can be compensated by an increased sense of smell and hearing, which is quite necessary when being in outer space. Yes. Uh, accelerator. Like that one. And there we go. Both of them are now done. Equip. Equip. The radiation level is much lower. That's great. I'll give you directions. Fly to the left. Or to be more precise, to the right. Your other right, which is at the top. <laughs> okay, that was a bad idea. <sighs> oh my god. Okay, I have. Uh, I had already made accelerator apparently oh so we need to lower the radiation instead of uh, other things did i need the shawarma for something oh my god Um, let's, um, let's, uh, load that, uh, and, oh my god, for some reason I didn't do a colossal mistake. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a massive mistake let's let's make the 
helmet covered with paint instead. Begin with. The radiation level is much lower. That's great. I'll give you directions. Fly to the left. Or to be more precise, to the right. Your other right, which is at the top. Okay, that was a bad idea. Yep. Let's switch back and then actually make the correct one. And I need the second Shavarma and ref two refined metal. I think. Yep, there we go. That's the one we need to make. That's the actual upgraded one. So, what I need to do now is... Shove all of this away for the time being, I think. And I can't put all of it away, but... Okay, that's fine. It's a decent durability, so... Uh, yeah, let's go and see what we can do. Because, yeah, I, I need to... One way or another, I need to, I think, decrease... The radiation to the point where... we can continue forward. Construction kit. I think that's going to be important. Okay, there's a lot of shavarmas over here, so I... I actually think... We had more than just two. And yeah, I'm going to need... Um, going to need uh, auto cleaners I always thought of them as useless equipment but seeing the size of this ball of debris they managed to roll it makes me start to respect them the trash ball mostly consists of electrical tape yeah not sure exactly which way I'm supposed to go to be perfectly honest I know I need to lower the radiation but hmm. such supplies of electrical tape suggest that engineers doubted the durability of the liner Yeah, considering what happened, I think that was, um... Judging by the steady melting of the rolls, there was a fire in the engineering modules, but it definitely was not the cause of the disaster. 
Hmm. Whoa. Um, I've done a massive mistake of going out without any oxygen. I'm probably going to have to reload. I'm more or less guaranteed going to have to reload. Oh my god, that sucks. Okay. Bring oxygen. Next time. Maybe. I don't think I'm going to make it. No matter what I do, I don't think I'm going to make it. And yeah, I don't have any oxygen. Uh, I was I was close. The the upgraded booster. You lie again. You are here. That means death was impossible. Tell truth. Uh, yeah, that, um, and yeah, I haven't done anything. Oh my God. Okay. Oh, The radiation level is much lower. That's uh, great. I'll give you directions. Fly to the left. Or to be more precise, to the right. Your other right, which is at the top. Okay, that was a bad idea. There we go. That is now done. And... Like that. Uh, large oxygen candle might be a good thing to have. Maybe. way I need to go. Now, oh, one second, Let, let's check before we actually go and do anything. Let's, first off, let's save. We don't have to redo that again. And check What my objective tasks lower radiation That one nine eighty three away. It 
might be. I now have oxygen on me, so... That's a thing, at least. Yeah, we have managed to come halfway. Through the episode and I wonder if I'm going the wrong way where I'm not technically s supposed to go Um, let's do save scumming just to get back a bit quicker. I think down here is the way I'm quote unquote supposed to go. I think. I think this is the way I'm supposed to go. Auto cleaners. I always thought of them as useless equipment, but seeing the size of this ball of debris they managed to roll, it makes me start to respect them. The trash ball mostly consists of electrical tape. Alright, we can now open these and actually possibly get resources, which you might want. supplies of electrical tape suggest that engineers doubted the durability of the liner yeah I judging by the steady melting of the rolls there was a fire in the engineering modules but it definitely was not the cause of the disaster I would probably agree I wonder if all of the coffins I empty is just a troll thing like Oh yeah, you might find something and you will never find anything. Um... Some more evidence of the fire in the modules. Apparently the fire had spread even to the habitation modules. Yeah, I think this is the way I'm supposed to go.
Yeah, I think so, since... Yeah, yeah, I think this is exactly the way I'm supposed to go. Wonder if this, this is, is working autonomous oxygen station. Yep. So we actually have a oxygen depot over here. Interesting design. The wiring schemes of the steering wheel are even less complicated than in the pleasure ships. You can connect an oxygen station here, if I've understood the blueprint correctly. Okay, so we... Do I have a repair tool? I don't think I even have it unlocked, to be honest. Um, no repair tool. Okay. I just... Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. Um I wonder if I need to go back, but no, I found right. I found uh Apparently there was a survivor here, temporarily. Judging by the number of antennas, this is either a communication point or a communication point from another side of the liner. In any case, there's a chance to find Normandy and the other survivors. I did find uh, some oxygen, so... During the explosion of the bridge, I managed to take measurements of your body to order a coffin, but it didn't come in handy after all. I'd like to note, you're in great shape. Keep it up. You're almost not so fat. Hope these antennas are spares and communications can work without them. Mm hmm. Let's see what we can find over here. Yep. Yeah. Looks like someone tried to get inside the module using the shuttle as a battering ram. By the way, did you know that originally the heads of some battering rams were carved in the shape of a ram? That's an interesting fact. It's called battering ram for a reason, so yeah. The chance of injuring yourself with the electrical tape is 46%, which makes the dispenser the safest tool for useless construction and wasting your time. Remember not to put the loose end of the electrical tape down your throat. The pilot entered the module. Well, partly. At any rate, his brains are scattered all over the corridor, and they most likely got into the vent and activated the airlock pressurization protocol. You need to find another airlock to get inside. Of course. <laughs> Take some water. More oxygen. Hmm. Generator. Trust me, I'm an engineer. <laughs> yes. Uh... More oxygen. Yeah, I, I um. How there's oxygen in here, I'm not sure how, but, well, there is, so I'm not going to question it, but we have a 
I think. Found what we need. I think. I'm not sure. Might be other things. Over here, which we need to explore. The service airlock. To be more precise, this was the service airlock. Unfortunately, now it's gone. But if you scan how its system works and get the necessary tools, we could try to repair it to depressurize the doors. Oh, I need, I need the dispenser. Okay, good to know. It doesn't, even if you misclick and try to scan nothing, it doesn't use the durability. Oh, that's good. I was a bit, wait, I misclicked. I wasn't meant to click that. Did it use durability? Nope. Nope. Does not. Just good. A miracle of engineering. This vacuum cleaner flew fast, but not for too long. Unfortunately, the skillful engineer turned out to be a less skillful driver. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Something was being assembled here. Yeah, something was. Oh, uh, I found everything in here. I think I have, yep. Yeah. I have no idea how bad this is going to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save just in case I crash and die. Yeah, it's basically like a scooter. Which you... <laughs> can run around on. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to get back again. It has a specific durability. Um, so I think I need to be careful so I don't crash into things. And to actually get somewhere, I need to fuel it. I'm not sure what it uses as, as fuel. But I love this uh, vacuum cleaner. It's actually really good. And it it's really quick. In comparison to the speed you're going, it's a lot quicker. 
if I didn't have this, I would not have been back here in time for the end of the episode. Fuel required. I'm going to actually look if I have I need to make a repair tool. I need to make the the dispenser. Uh, steering wheel two out of four fuel metal and resin. Okay, so that's where the resin comes in. Good to know. And I can make a generator. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. This. So what I need to do is I need to make myself a repair tool and the dispenser which I might have all the resources for so yeah I think we will uh, end it there And with this ridiculous but lovely vehicle, I hate that the UI can't be turned off, but it's what it is. But yeah, this lovely vehicle has saved us a lot of time and it's going to save us. It's going to be make us able to travel very long distances. So we need to take care of it. <laughs> need to make sure it survives. And... Um, yeah so i think all that i need to ask of you now is that you like the video because that would be super awesome and nice if you did and with that thanks for watching goodbye and i hope i'll see you in the next one